5. Nuclear Suppliers Group, NSG, is a group of nuclear supplier countries that seek to prevent nuclear proliferation by controlling the export of materials, equipment and technology that can be used to manufacture nuclear weapons. The NSG was founded in response to the Indian nuclear test in May 1974, and first met in November 1975. The test demonstrated that certain non-weapons specific nuclear technology could be readily turned to weapons development. Basically, the nuclear suppliers group's job is see to it that no country like India has access to nuclear raw materials, that are usually used to make nuclear energy but can be used to develop warheads after processing. The 48 members of the NSG include the five nuclear weapon states, US, UK, France, China, and Russia. The other 43 are signatories to the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty, NPT. Number 4 India has set goal for itself about sourcing 40% of power from non-fossil sources. Nuclear energy will play very important role if India has to achieve it. NSG membership has certain benefits. Here are the major ones. 1. NSG membership will open India to international nuclear commerce. When India becomes a member, it will have access to international market for export as well as for import of nuclear-related materials. 2. All nuclear-based program of India is being run on indigenous technology. By becoming a member of NSG, India will have access to sophisticated foreign technologies. 3. By becoming a member India can also sell its indigenous technology thereby generating foreign exchange. NSG membership also means India can begin to commercially produce nuclear power equipment, which it can then even sell to other countries. Number 3 India currently uses one-to-one -one agreements with few countries to gain access to advanced nuclear technologies and raw materials. The one to three agreement was signed between the United States of America and the Republic of India is known as the U.S.-India Civil Nuclear Agreement or Indo-U.S. Nuclear Deal. The framework for this agreement was a July 18, 2005, joint statement by then Indian Prime Minister Man Mohan Singh and then U.S. President George W. Bush. Under this India agreed to separate its civil and military nuclear facilities and to place all its civil nuclear facilities under International Atomic Energy Agency, IAEA, safeguards. In exchange, the United States agreed to work toward full civil nuclear cooperation with India. In its final shape, the deal places under permanent safeguards on those nuclear facilities that India has identified as civil and permits broad civil nuclear cooperation. On August 1, 2008, the IAEA approved the Safeguards Agreement with India, after which the United States approached the Nuclear Suppliers Group to grant a waiver to India to commence civilian nuclear trade. NSG granted the waiver to India on September 6, 2008 allowing it to access civilian nuclear technology and fuel from other countries. One of the objectives of the 2008 nuclear deal was that the US would help India get into export control regimes such as the NSG, the MTCR, Missile Technology Control Regime. India has recently got membership of MTCR. When India conducted its nuclear tests in 1998, Japan was the country that took it the hardest, it put all political exchanges with India on hold, froze it and announced economic sanctions within hours. A breakthrough in ties didn't come until 2001, when sanctions were lifted. And then, in 2009, the two countries began an annual strategic dialogue. This has now come to materialization with the signing of the Nuclear Cooperation Agreement in Tokyo during Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit. 
Japanese companies that produce cutting-edge reactor technology were previously not allowed to supply parts to India. In addition, Japanese companies have significant holdings in their US and French partners negotiating for nuclear reactors now, and that would have held up the deals. India-Japan agreement mitigates all these problems. This is Japan's first nuclear deal with a nation which is non-signatory to non-proliferation treaty. Besides the US and Japan, India also has similar deals with Russia, France, UK, US, Kazakhstan, and Australia. Number 2 Though India is not signatory to the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty, NPT, it has taken major steps to make a strong case for NSG membership, by volunteering taking certain steps. Here are these. 1. By declaring a voluntary moratorium on further underground nuclear tests India has effectively acted in sense and spirit of NPT and CTBT. 2. It has pledged to NFU, no first use, of nukes. India will not use nukes unless faced with an attack of weapons of mass destruction. India's nuclear doctrine is unique and non-offensive in nature. 3. India has an excellent non-proliferation record, with not a single issue of proliferation traced back to India. 4. It has acquired high-level expertise in safe utilization of nuclear technologies, mastered effective control of the associated consequences of its civilian usage, and prepared to accept full-scale IAEA safeguards. Number 1 In case of the United Nations Security Council, permanent members China, France, Russia, United Kingdom and United States of America, can block any resolution using veto power. China has veto power and is continuing to oppose India's bid to enter NSG. A veto, Latin for I forbid, is the power to unilaterally stop an official action. China and India has border dispute and rivalry has been simmering between the two nations. China sees India's rise as a major obstacle, to it playing a dominant role in Asia. Another reason to block India's entry, is to protect the interest of Pakistan, which is India's main rival and China's all-weather friend. China wants Pakistan to also get into NSG, if India does. In this case China which is itself known to violate NPT guidelines by sharing nuke tech with countries like South Korea, is totally ignoring the proliferation record of Pakistan which has provided sensitive nuke materials to many rogue nations. It remained to be seen how the moves play out. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting. Kindly provide your feedback in the comment section, this will help us improve.